we'll be taking a look at part two of a reporting and analytics look-see into SAP Business One. A couple of features we'll be looking at today that are important, Excel reports and interactive analysis. Now it's part two because uh, last uh, couple of weeks ago, we took a look at pervasive analytics and all that it offers uh, to us in terms of creating our own home screen with KPIs, dashboards, and reporting capabilities for advanced dashboards. Uh, but now we're gonna take a look at some more basic kinds of reports, but both of them using Excel as the basis for that reporting technique. All right, so now we're gonna take a look in SAP Business One here. So most of them here are gonna be found um, in the reports section of the application. So if we, we open uh, reports, right? At the very bottom of the reports menu, you will see Excel report and interactive analysis. Now that has its own section of the menu, right? So that from that point, brings it to the top here, you can see that I have, uh, there's two basic sections, right? And uh, the first section is really Excel reports. And as the icon changes here, you'll notice it sort of looks like a folder. Uh, then it changes a bit, right? Once I get past uh, this purchasing area and I, I can come into another section where I have interactive analysis kinds of looks at things. So we're gonna start off today by going to the Excel reports area and looking at a uh, purchase analysis. So here's something that's, you know, by just by clicking, right? So I'm gonna click once on that purchase analysis report and give it a second. And then down at the bottom of my screen, you'll notice that my Excel icon in the tray is kind of blinking at me. And I can see that something's been loaded. So I can retrieve that now. And this is the report that that produced. So all of these reports, uh, I can you know, manipulate it in Excel all I want, but I have no way of like saving this work back in business one or anything like that. It's just a report that runs for me to do analysis with. Um, maybe it's exactly what I'm looking for, uh, but I maybe I can manipulate this data, uh, copy it, paste it, turn it into a pivot table, do a lot of things with it that I might want to. So there's many reports provided out of the box uh, in Excel reports design, we call it, uh, that are available to us in Business One. Now, here's an example of a report that I have created uh, with Excel reports. And so that's really what I kind of want to show you today is how do you create your own report in Excel reports? And then we'll hopefully have a little time to take just a brief look at interactive inter analysis also, right? So if I want to create this particular report from scratch in SAP Business One, and uh, be able to save it as a report, as I did here, that I can retrieve in the menu and run again, right? How would I do that? Well, let's take a look. Now, one thing I want you to know is that once I have a report that I've saved, like over here, you remember our common functions uh, the other day uh, that we saw a couple of weeks ago? I've actually placed that report also in my common functions area so that I can run it from there. I don't have to retrieve it from the menu in the future. But if I wanna create a report from scratch using the new Excel reports tool. I'm gonna to go to the tools menu and you'll see here a menu item called Excel report and interactive analysis designer. So I'll click that. And just like I did when I was ex executing the report, I'm gonna take a look down at the bottom of the screen and notice that my Excel icon is kind of blinking at me again, right? So I'm gonna open that and retrieve it to the screen. Now it's completely blank. I'm gonna maximize it for you but you'll notice that a couple of add-ins have been placed into the Excel menu, Excel report and interactive analysis. So this is kind of where you go to create a brand new Excel report or a brand new interactive analysis. So uh, we're gonna work mostly today with Excel report and I'm, the reason that I won't be able to show you how to create a brand new interactive analysis today is because it's a new version of SAP Business One and that has a bug in it when I go to save it or open a new file. At some point in the future, excuse me, I'll be able to show you some of that as well. But it works very similar to Excel reports. So I'm gonna open the add-in and you'll notice it has its own little menu here, right? So I'm going to uh, create a new Excel report. And uh, I'm gonna go to purchasing. Now these are pre-provided um, you know, queries. Uh, semantic layers, we call them in HANA. 
uh, that are out of the box and available to you to use as the basis for a new report. And they cover a lot of areas of the application. So I'm gonna go to this multi-document scenario and you can see there's many of them. And I'm gonna use today the purchase analysis. And when I select it, it can, you can see the fields that are here so you can go, oh, that looks exactly like the kind of data that I'm looking for. Now I might never use all of it in my report, but probably what I want is contained within that list if I take a little snapshot of a look at it. So I'm gonna click OK. Now it's gonna kind of load the tool for me in a little bit different way. 